In this video, we will drive the conservation of momentum equation by using Reynolds transport theorem. This is the general form of Reynolds transport theorem. I have explained the Reynolds transport theorem and its derivation in my previous video. You can find the link in the description. The Reynolds transport theorem relates the change in the properties of a system to the change in properties of a control volume here in this equation b represent the any extensive property of the system and small b is property of a system per unit mass so to drive the momentum equation we will replace capital b with the momentum mv and small b we will replace small b with velocity v so we will get the momentum equation in this form and as we know that according to newton's second law of motion sum of forces acting on a body is equal to m times acceleration and by the definition of acceleration uh, acceleration is rate of change of velocity and we can write this equation in the form of uh, this equation which states that sum of forces acting on a body is equal to rate of change of momentum so in the momentum equation we can replace this term with sum of forces which are acting on the body next term the second term in the momentum equation represents the change in momentum inside the control volume and the third term in this linear momentum equation is the uh, rate of momentum flow through a outlet surface uh, due to mass flow cs stands for control surface and this is a area integral due which represents the momentum flux through a surface so next uh, we need to understand what are the forces acting on a control uh, uh, volume one is the body force and the second is the surface force so we can evaluate the body force body force is due to the weight of the body consider a differential volume in the system and its weight is equal to m times g if we replace the mass with rho delta v and integrate it for the whole control volume we will get the body force so body force is the weight of the body the next is the surface force there are uh, two uh, types of forces acting on a surface one is the normal force and the second one is the tangential force normal force is perpendicular to this delta a surface small surface and tangential force is parallel to this delta a surface so normal force produces a normal stress which can be pressure and the tangential force produces the shear stress uh, on a surface so we have three normal stresses and six shear stresses in a stress tensor and to find the differential force acting on this surface in the normal direction we will multiply this stress tensor with area and we'll get now we also get the dot product with n vector n is normal to this surface
surface. So we uh, will get the uh, surface force on the whole complete surface at the inlet or outlet by integrating it with respect to area. We can uh, now uh, represent the momentum equation in this final form which states that sum of forces acting on a control volume is equal to the change in momentum inside the control volume plus the rate of momentum flux crossing a inlet or outlet due to mass flow. And we can write this momentum equation in terms of average velocities and mass flow rates. We will use the definition of mass flow rate for this purpose and replace the m dot value in this momentum equation to get the momentum equation in this form. In this equation beta is momentum flux correction factor and we can evaluate its uh, value by using the uh, this equation which is momentum that is crossing an inlet or outlet. This is from the momentum equation. You can see here this is the momentum flux that is crossing an inlet or outlet and we have replaced it with beta m dot v. So we have this equation and if we want to evaluate the value of beta we will divide this side with m dot v average and if we simplify this equation we will get the beta equation in this final form.